Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and we got to zero a player that was over 150 million power. Man, there's a lot going on in this KVK, and you've seen me stream it every single day for several days now. There was one day where I had a break in between, but it's been nonstop stuff to do. Not always nonstop action for at least what we're up to, but at this exact moment, we caught someone from GT off territory. Now, they had actually been in this particular location for a long time. So I suspect that they, uh, I don't know, quit or are just so inactive that like, yeah, we caught them out. And we took out a flag that was underneath them. And here we are, I guess, clearing 1960s dead weight. <laughs> Their name is GT Soul. So the title of this video is almost certainly something like stealing 1960s soul. <laughs> and I mean, like, come on, I'm a dad. You've got to like enjoy or appreciate that. I'm going to drop some dad jokes every now and then. All right. So their city has a Harrow YSS, which is a great combo to defend their city. And they're not online. I don't know when the last time they were online. And they do have some amount of equipment on this thing. It's I don't think it's like totally without equipment. Although I don't think it was terribly impressive with regard to the number of iconic pieces they had. It was, I think, a couple, but very few. And the rally lead here is using Ash with this particular rally. And uh, <laughs> we're in a Warriors Unbound KVK. So you're seeing Ash, which is archers, with uh, Nevsky, which is cavalry, except you get a little item called an artifact. And that artifact lets you switch the troop type from one to another. So it's Nevsky, but for archers, which is... <laughs> disgusting, as you might expect it to be. Now, this player, if I'm not mistaken, is using a 15% archer defense city theme. Uh, they're down to 142 million power, 390,000 dead for us, 680,000 dead for them, plus the full hospital. That is the Hera YSS on the garrison, 13.8 million power loss, uh, which is pretty major. They have 10 million troops in their city. It is mostly tier five troops. They do have someone who reinforced them in preparation for this moment with a bunch of siege units. And they probably woke up with uh, a reward of a little bit of resources and speed ups in the mail. Yes, that actually works that way. It is kind of weird. Oh, did I mention that this guy had like Somewhere between, I want to say it's like 15 and 20 billion resources. Here's the stats on the city. It does look like he has some infantry base health. So like, I don't know what equipment he's got, but like barely any iconics on there. All right. So up next, we'll have uh, another rally in just a second here. We used a bunch of different rallies, including Attila with Liu Cha, uh, a couple archer variations. And I did pull up this guy's stats. He's got a 134 million deaths. Uh, after that first rally had landed. In fact, if I look at his deads now, while this rally rolls in on this footage, it's coming in from the left side of the screen, by the way, uh, I can get a look at his dead count, and what is it now? After it's all said and done, I mean, he had 10 million troops in his city, so he's got 142 million deads now. GG. <laughs> so yes, uh, spoiler alert, all of his troops are going to perish in all this. So I'm going to show some of this footage in real time, just so you can see how the rallies perform. I'll jump around to some of the reports, and we are buffing some of these rallies, by the way. So, uh, and I'm just going to scout this guy here. We, we know that he's been AFK for a long time, so we're not worried about scouting him. Normally, that would be a bad thing to do, because some number of people have their, you know, mobile device set to alert them when they have been scouted. Uh, but we're not really worried about that. I mean, this dude this has just been in this position for a while. And we're again, the, the rally is getting buffed here. Uh, looks like a Zeno and Joan. That's the combo that's being used, which is, yeah, it's powerful. Uh, and that is, yeah, Attila Liucha. That combo is also insane. It works again because we're in Warriors Unbound. So Attila is boosting your normal attack damage, and the active skill of Liucha is Smite, which is a normal attack damage base stability. Also, you've got the fourth skill on Attila, just increasing your all damage, which is just insane. And also, there's a skill that is going to 
reduce your skill damage taken and dealt. I believe it's the third skill on Attila. So you take, I want to say 15% less skill damage and you deal 30% less skill damage, or maybe I have that backwards. But either way, it doesn't matter because Liu Chad doesn't technically do skill damage. He does smite. So it is a super powerful rally and might actually be the meta rally in this KVK format or any KVK format where you have an artifact and you can change the troop type because it is crazy anti-swarm and big damage. And it's probably just straight up better than the Attila Nevsky. Like it's what Attila Nevsky wanted to always be. Attila Liuche is that. It is so good. Here, uh, someone is swarming the city, which I would not really advise, quite frankly. Uh, kind of take some unnecessary deads, in my opinion, for that little maneuver. And uh, that rally, well, 500,000 to 1.5 million. So it is cooking. Although the archers also were cooking. <laughs> the archers also do a lot of work. Now, I have often said that for high power cities, you want really high skill damage. And lower power cities, you want lots of normal attack damage. There's a bunch of different ways that you can tackle this. Uh, here I've got another report, 219,000 to 1 million. And that is an Ash with Nevsky. Brutal. Another one, Attila Liucha, 373 to 1.1 million. So you can see that these combos are just absolutely freaking slapping this garrison. And like, yeah, he's not online. Like, what do you, what do you think is going to happen, right? Uh, up next, what do we have here? The very next one looks like it's an archer rally this time. I was trying to get into the rally, but I needed to bring like a hundred thousand troops to get in the rally. Like when I brought 200,000, I wasn't getting in. Um, and I, you know, cut some of that footage cause it's like, I don't know how much, how, how much of that are you really interested in seeing? Like you can see I'm doing the little drag and drop to try to get in periodically here. Um, uh, but at some point I'm like, all right, I'm just going to watch the show. Uh, and I, I probably should have just brought down 100,000 to try to get in. Uh, now, there's obviously several things you can do to improve the result. Some of this you're, you've been seeing on screen and you may not have realized it. But if you put one troop into the area of effect damage, abilities that read, you know, this troop does, you know, or this, this ability does less damage, 15% less damage per additional target hit, that's what we're trying to trigger. Ooh, by the way, 141,000 to 793. Um, yeah, so by putting those one troops around the city, like they are dramatically reducing the area of effect damage of the city. That's the idea. And Hera does AOE, YSS does AOE, uh, and losing one troop is a way better price to pay than the number of troops you would deal if that skill is doing more skill damage. So what do we have here? This time, okay, it's still Ash with Nevsky. I mean, one combo that is really insane, although I don't know that I'd say it's a rally combo, is Ash with Joan in this KVK format. Oh my God. So Ash in his expertise makes it so that whenever you use an active skill, you get a buff and there's a, ra you know, a random choice from five or six different buffs. I think it's 30% health, defense, and attack. Um, another buff is, I think, skill damage dealt and maybe uh, normal attack damage dealt, something like that. Uh, but when Joan does her extra attack with her active skill, yeah, it triggers that expertise and it is really good. It's good in the field and it, I don't know how it will be as a rally. 122,000 to 683. So I think we can just keep running this. In fact, I may have even suggested it, but at one point we do try a Cav Rally, uh, Attila Liuche again, 214 to 740. So just doing a lot of damage here. We are trying to kill off more of their troops because we're going to get to a point where it's like, hey, we really just want to swarm this thing. Now, by this point in the video, some number of you are probably like, okay, just cool. This is all well and good, but I really will, I really want to hear you talk about your KVK more. And of course I do that in my streams, but there's not like a shocking amount of hate going around. Like, and I am in some, I guess in some ways I'm not surprised because I said that people would feel like the free for all format is stupid and like people are complaining about it being a free-for-all format. It's like, I told you so. I literally told you that you would find free-for-all to be stupid. And like, here we are 
and people are thinking it's stupid. Now, I'm not gonna get into all of the details around that in this video. I probably will in a future one, so consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Here I've got my archers, by the way, to swarm the city. There's a ton of people here, but archers are basically the most worthless unit in this KVK, unless you're on offense. And if you're on offense, that's what you're filling your rallies with, that's what you're rallying. And garrisoning, you have several options. You have a cav garrison with Attila and Gorgo, or you have an infantry garrison with Attila and Gorgo, just reverse the order. <laughs> so you just wanna get rid of archers on attack, and uh, I mean, that's what I'm. that's my strategy, I don't know. I don't know how else to kill off my archers. Archer garrison ain't it, let me tell you, my God. God, is that not it? But consider subscribing if you want to hear more about the drama and the weirdness. And I don't know, man. Something that I find really disappointing is when other people stream and they maintain like a super toxic environment. And for those wondering like why I've basically stopped rating other streamers is like, uh, unless those streamers are delivering me tremendous value, commensurate with what they would get when I raid them with 1,600 people watching a stream... Like, I need to be careful about who I'm lending credibility to, because then they may turn around and trash talk me. And it's like, all right, well, uh, disappointing. But um, I don't know. I have some really great relationships with, with like a small number of YouTubers that are always positive, And I feel like we've always bettered each other. Um, and just to give some examples outside of the Rise of Kingdoms community, um, I'll just mention like Echo Gaming. He was in the Rise of Kingdoms community. He isn't anymore. So like, I don't know. No, 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 I'm not calling out any of the current creators. All right? I'm not being nothing, nothing like that at all. Okay. But like, no, it, it's actually shocking how much, I don't know, creators can help each other in this journey. And uh, I had several people come to me and be like, I can't watch these other streams. Like it's, it's too toxic. And I was like, wow, really? Jeez. But anyways, um, it, it has been toxic in this KVK, but it's also like, I don't know it. I mean, if you like fighting, there's a lot of it to do on Warriors Unbound. If you enjoyed the vid, throw a like on here, consider subscribing, check out the cards in the end screen. If you want to see some of the streams with this KVK until next time you have fun smashing the kingdom. I'll see you soon.